Oh my god, we're back for season two of Build Club? What season two? I don't know what Build Club is. A club for people that build. Welcome to Bobby's Build Club, the new building series. Why aren't we seeing the credits right now? <laughs> Welcome to Bobby's Build Club, where you always have a place to grow. Bobby Wolfie here, and today we're going to be talking floors. Floors! Floors in Minecraft. So there are various, 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 endless possibilities to uh, uh, floor designs in Minecraft. But floor designs are hard. There's a lot of people that need help with floor designs. And that's what I'm here to do today. I'm here to help her out with my all-knowing, all-seeing helpness. So, what are we looking at here? We're looking at oak wood, spruce wood, oak wood, spruce wood, birch wood, jungle wood, uh, the gray wood, and dark oak wood, acacia wood, that's what it's called. And some things that you can do with these. Okay, plain and simple. Something easy you can do, if, if you're using one type of wood, you can do kind of this wicker basket pattern where you you put the lo the the logs the logs in a crisscross pattern like a store here. Look at this crisscross pattern. Look at it, and uh, it works for most of the wood. I don't know how I feel about this. It's very busy. It hurts my eyeballs. It makes me dead. Um jungle wood you know it works if it's pretty basic too you can do it you know level one type type of stuff you can do them all the same way be like hey that's okay I do these all all the same way that's fine no one will, no one will judge you for that or you could do it like this these are the simple simple ones right here simplicity is a key and then, if you want to go a step further than that, notice that those are like that. You can combine this and that and make this. And they're all going the same way. It makes a difference because... Oh, these are mixtures. Yeah, all these are going the same way. Look at all, you know... There are these you can do too basic concept you're using one type of material uh, I don't want to get into the ones where I use more than one type of material yet but um, you can also do the same thing I don't have an example laid out why uh, but I'll show you with the oak you can also do with the oak uh, I'll show you right here with any wood really you change it up in the rows. Uh, the first row goes up and down. The second row keeps that whisk wicker basket uh, type of thing that we showed before. So, uh, so it would be something more along the lines of this. Boom and boom. So see how this they all go the same way but in this one they they kind of change it up it gives it a more interesting look and it's all using one type of block now if you want to get into two kinds of blocks then by all means you can use oak wood and spruce and do this you know play with it there's a nice contrast pop to this kind of a old checkerboard pattern type of thing this one gives kind of, this is a uh, oak and spruce, the uh, exact, wait, is it, is it, yeah it is, this is oak and, sp it's the same two materials, look at the difference, look at the difference in this, right here, same two blocks, mind blown, yeah, mine too, um, what is over here, and here's dark oak, uh, and spruce, uh, playing with these like this uh, can give a big uh, pop 
Um, there's a lot of patterns you can do with using just the tops of the logs like this. And you could do a ton of interesting things with that. Uh, these are the sides. It's a very spooky. It's a fly flying around. It's ruining lives. Um, but, uh, yes, there's, there's that. And this, um, playing with it, you can start to add in the logs. You can have something that looks like candy corn if you want. Um, there is a lot of endless possibilities. These three, I don't feel work really well, um, using the same type of, uh, log and wood. Uh, don't work well at all, to, in my opinion. They don't flow. This kind of works. Nice, neutral tan in here. Tans and whites. And the log even blips in the sa a few of the same colored squares inside. See how there's little squares in it? As uh, this. So it kind of smooths out. And, uh, why is there a fly attacking me? I don't understand. Um, there is, you know, here's the spruce and, uh, here's the oak. And, and they work too. They give it a kind of textury. It l looks like it's not on the same layer. Like it looks like there's depth to it, but there's not. Uh, and it, it gives it a, a kind of pop. Um, and uh, th these are the opposite. These are the opposite right here. And these are the opposite right here. So, yeah, there's a... These two are like the opposite. Go away, fly. Jeez. Uh, and I think, yeah, I did that for all of them. But it only works for two, I think. Two or three. Um, so, yes. Oh, I did. See, these are all facing the same direction. Right here. And right here, I changed it up. Some are going sideways. Some are going this way. It's kind of like it's woven under, over, under, over. It, they're woven in. And uh, this is the basic concept of the floors that I have at the Momo. Uh, we're going to go over here. Uh, two other floor things that I've done. This I used as the dining room for my ship that I'm building right now. Um, it's, it's detailed, but it's simple. Uh, it's just on a grander scale. So there's a big square. big. They're just big squares divided by, you know, this line. And you can colorize it. Where's the color version? Uh, I'm trying to look at these without giving them all away. Oh, it's right here, I guess. No, it's not. That is this. Uh, see, this I used for the, the bar I built in Smoogglecraft. And, uh... I was doing color texture versions of it to see if I could do some floors for my ship. And if you want to get very daring and brave, you can do this type of thing. Uh, it's very Art Deco. Very, uh... A lot of people probably won't like how smooth this is compared to all the other... The, the vast texture change. But I kind of like it. It would just have to go in like a specific kind of shaped room like I don't know if it, it would probably work better for a, a large room but then again uh, these are huge six by six patterns so I don't know how it would really work and did I already do that there's that and then there's yeah these are just some patterns I had ready for my ship uh, it's kind of some gray and orange and then just just a, as a visual guide it's kind of the same deal that was over there but if you want to get into some stone using two double uh or using a half a stone slab and the dye polished diorite together uh it gives this and it looks really good uh, here's a calmer, smoother thing. It, it ke the half, the, the stone slabs carry over the same kind of detailing that's in the stone. So it stays consistent even though it's different and it makes for a nice effect. And, uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, this is kind of the same thing but with andesite. So, uh, there's the andesite version, and this is all 
diorite. I don't know which one's which yet. It's like two updates into Minecraft, and I never learned which one's which. Fun fact about about um, sandstone. I'm gonna pull all these sandstones out my butt here. Here we go. Sandstone, sandstone, sandstone. Where's my other sandstone pieces? A sandstone that, sandstone stairs. Okay, prepare this. Smooth top, smooth top, smooth top, smooth top. Stairs, and only stairs will give you a textured uh, top. So, if you want to do something like this, you must do it with stairs. And, uh, this could be something nice, too. It, some kind of, uh... And even if you wanted to have a bigger design in it, I guess you could always do it like that. And maybe do this to it. Uh, you can change it up how, how you like. Um... Like that. Oh my gosh. What did I do?! Okay, there. Um... So something like that, uh, that's the secret, the secret, you've heard it here first, the secret of sandstone. And this is the type of patterns I was talking about with the oak and dark oak and spruce, and you can just do endless things. They're nice fall colors, it's very pretty, uh, you can, uh, it's very easy, easy to get the wood, um... So, I mean, there are things that are simple to collect, like stone and andesite and diorite. Yay! Okay, um, and stone and, yeah. But, um, and then if you want to do some different patterns with wool, um, there's some things you can do. This is just, uh, keeps, uh, it, it's a repeating pattern, but... Uh, every few rows you add white instead of gray or dark gray as a third uh, color mix. And this is kind of trippy. It's kind of eye-popping. It's like those optical illusions that you see. Um, and that's part of that. Uh, these are different in some way. I forget how they're different. Um, oh, it's the... It's the order in which they repeat, I think. Gray, gray. Gray, teal, blue, gray, teal, blue, gray. Maybe not. What have I done? Oh, yeah. One is a reflection, the other one's not. One goes, uh, one has a middle, so, uh, I think it's this one. No, you know what? I don't know what I did with these. What did I do? Um, this speaks to me in some way. I, I don't know how to incorporate it, but uh, I really like the way this one looks. And then um, we've shown you that, and then here's some things. This is super simple with nether quartz. Uh, nobody does this. Why does nobody do this? I've never seen anybody do this before. And it's the simplest thing. If you want kind of a simple... It's very simple very very simple and I'll probably be using it a couple of times on my ship but uh, very simple floor um, using just one m well I guess it's two materials but I mean they're both yeah, I don't know variation this is a f advanced floor that I used in a mid-century house that I built with my friend like two years ago on a server and it's a one I really like because it looks like the, they're overlapping, but they're not. They're just in L shapes. Look at it on a flat scale. They're L shapes. L shapes. L shapes. And this can look very good. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a casino. But um, it's just how you pull it off. You can use any color you want. I've done this in various colors. Uh, someone on the Smoogglecraft server did it in wood. Uh, it was, I think it was smoky. Um... And, um, yeah, so that. And then this is kind of, I was playing with colors, uh, you know, so there's always that kind of earth texture type of thing. Uh, it's all about texture, too. Um, but there is a, a heap load of, of patterns. Um, 
if this video helped you at all throw up a like onto the video um comment uh if you know of any other cool floor designs you want to tell me about uh go ahead and let me know uh i don't know how just do it uh do it i don't know but anyway um that is basically all I got for today. Um, I, I will definitely come back to floors at some point. Um, I'm happy that everyone can rejoin me for season two of Build Club. Complete with theme song and weird other things and stuff. And look at the, all the options we have. I'm going to do an episode on roofs and stairs and... We're going to build things together. I'm going to show you how to build a little house. and uh, I'm going to show you how to build various houses. What is this cross? Why is this here? Oh, it's the, it's the sandstone tutorial. All right. Um. Anyway, I will see you all in the next episode. Like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. And I look forward to seeing you go over and check out Smoogglecraft and building an ocean liner. And, um... Go do that stuff. We build things and we we are weird and stuff. So let's all be weird together. Goodbye.